these days we experience more and more cyber attacks coming from non-state actors. If in previous decades uh, this was more work on law enforcement agencies investigating cyber crimes, nowadays we see that non-state actors are attacking state actors and state targets and the paradigm has shifted. As we all know the, this is a big problem for international law because uh, conventional or traditional international law regulates state-to-state -state security and peace dilemmas and uh, responsible state behavior. But when it goes to the private actors, then we have a problem how to attribute the wrongful acts to private companies or hackers or private individuals or com uh, communication networks um, and how to make a bridge between these uh, hacking groups to uh, state A or state B. Uh, international law does not have a clear reply on this case and we have a legal dilemma in this case. So in my understanding the problem is that we international organizations, experts in this field should sit and uh, really discuss how we can attribute legal regimes, existing legal regimes to non-state actors and if there is uh, no clear rule establish or regulate and create new legal regimes for non-state actors.